Hello there. In this video, we'll be working on this model, a super nice looking Gwenum Gwenum from Spider Woman. Doing a step by step start to finish from SLA printing to hand painting the model, giving you an idea on how you could do the same and finish all sort of projects without going crazy. All the info on the STL models is in the video description down below. First thing I will do is open the model in Mesh Mixer um, to check uh, if there's any issues with the model. Most of the time that won't affect the print, but um, when it's a very detailed model, uh, the slicer may not like it or, you know, have issues. So to dodge that bullet, I just pass it through a Mesh Mixer. Then I will go ahead and um, assemble it in Mesh Mixer again and check how the parts come together um, if possible. So you can notice here the arm is not a perfect fit. Uh, then I know that I'll have to uh, fix it um, by hand, which is not a big issue. But uh, now I know. And then I will pop it in a Cheetu box and then we'll be preparing it for uh, slicing for going to, to the printer. I like to put very, well, as little as supports as I can, uh, as I find that the printer will really do well with overhangs. But this said, um, I also don't want the model to move, so I will be using very take uh, the heavier supports and then I will finish it with um, very light supports but and then I will place my draining holes um, all over and uh, I will uh, try to hide them make sure that they're, they don't come to view and that one you see I didn't place the right way I, I should have put it further down back but uh, I, I plugged it and all was fine. But this is what you get uh, in the general looking. And then once it's printed, it's uh, time to get it off the bill plate and such and rinse and clean and cure. I won't go through all that process because there's other videos from very great YouTubers that'll go in details much better than I would. Uh, but uh, this is still part of the process to be careful and to be uh, safe while doing it. Glasses, gloves, and uh, don't you know put that in the uh, sink uh, and dispose it properly and clean, clean well the, the plate and such. So once printed and cured, uh, make sure it's not tacky at all. And as you inspect it. Uh, this is really well printed. There will be no sending needed to get rid of any lines or anything. So I remove the supports, but the way I remove them, I make sure that it doesn't make any holes. So there will be sending to be done. And then I'll be priming it with um, this paint. This is uh, for miniatures. Uh, we'll be painting it gray. And as you can see, you know, it's gray. Uh, I want gray because uh, there's going to be a lot of stone involved so this will save some printing time and then all the little spot you can see they'll be all sanded and uh, piled down and, uh, and then I'll be ready to get it uh, another layer of primer. Now that I have the main body printed uh, I looked at it and to see if there was layer lines and I'm really not seeing anything uh, nothing noticeable so now I cut all the supports and I always try to make sure that I don't uh, make holes in the model sometimes it's inevitable but uh, we'll do a bit of uh, filling if possible some some won't care and put some filling anyway uh, but we all have our ways now the drain holes uh, make sure that inside is very well rinsed and once it's primed as you can see, there's going to be a bit of work to be done. I'll be, uh, I've been uh, removing some of 
of the edges to make the cap fit much better. A lot of piling will be uh, needed. Um, I, I, as you can see, I'll be putting that on and see all the parts if it fits well and what work does it need to do to be uh, a better fit. And uh, from right of, out of uh, the print, it's already a good fit. There's going to be a bit of work to be done, um, but it, it's it's going to work pretty well. As you can see, the, um, the arm here is a good fit, but the other arm will really need to be worked. I'm going to have to uh, modify it a bit to make it blend the both of them. Uh, so that we don't see the lines anymore. I find it very important to always test your parts before uh, doing more work on it and that will save you so much trouble in the later time. And now I get to the sending and the filing part. It takes time. Uh, it Usually I would either, if I have a lot of to do, I will do it uh, with water so the sand this, the dust doesn't go up. Uh, I do wear a little mask because this little dust is is very toxic for you. So I'm being careful. But uh, right now, since there's not a lot of um, sending involved or filing, I am doing it dry so I can get to the priming faster. Um, because when you do use water sanding, you do have to wait at least 24 hours to make sure that everything is well dried. Um, but uh, not in this uh, situation. And uh, you take your time and you make sure that to uh, some parts you kind of like re -sculpt. So you take your time and you send it with all sort of tools and files and you'll get a proper um, version but I won't be priming right away because I will assemble the full model before uh, priming again. Now in the instruction of the maker of this model they say that you need to uh, put the legs after putting on the bust well, the, the, but what I did by testing and looking is that the studs were a bit too out so I just cut them a bit and now I can work on the model without having to deal with the base and as you can see um, I've been filling, sending, priming, filling, sending uh, just a bit and I've been uh, getting there where I want it to be so after a few uh, layers uh, of working as you can see there's just a bit more cracks uh, once the primer will stand out but that's not a problem will be uh, filling it out just a bit and at this point this is the final uh, refilling and sending that this model will need and here I started a quick paint job uh, just some ruby red for the stone keeping the primer for the mortar and then I just put smudged in some darker gray on the stone to give it a little bit of light feeling there and now we're done with all the sanding and because the two parts of the parts the whole model is rough looking but the sanding made it smooth on the two parts so to help with that I use some paint and I smudge it uh, to get the rugged feeling back and not to get too much uh, so you don't see the transition too much and that did the trick as you can see, we can't really see the lines anymore, uh, and it looks like a one-piece model. And we're finally there to start the real painting now. To help with small parts, I uh, super glue a stick on it, uh, and then here we can see that I uh, I did some white and a little spiderweb thing to make it look more attached to it and yeah, that's looking pretty cool isn't it it's just a good start now you know that everything fits works it's time to start real painting i did some ink wash on this i have three types of ink uh that i use i have three 
types of black ink wash that I use. Uh, one is right out of the Game Workshop factory, that's not too old, it works pretty well. Uh, then the other one is a old bottle that I just put my some black paint and black ink in it, it's just a mix of paint. And the other one is pure um, China ink that I use to it with a bit of water. Uh, that is uh, much stronger when I do the inking. Then I did a blue wash, just blue paint diluted with water uh, for the spider web. And then I'll be doing uh, white brushes over that spider web and uh, red brush over the stone to, you know, uh, to make it stand out and not blend with the model. So now I added some red and added some purple and some basic colors all over the place. Uh, the purple will be to uh, stand out under the black wash we'll be doing. Now I added a bit of white over the red and uh, all my basic colors are there so we're ready to start doing the black wash and this is basically where the fun starts. Now doing some black wash uh, to use it as painting is a bit of tricky or getting used to it. You have to choose sectors that you'll do because it dries fast and you want to um, remove the excess so we can see the colors behind the black wash. Uh, and because you're doing that, you'll get um, separation lines between the spot you already did and the spot you're doing right right now so you have to choose where you're doing them knowing where that ink stain will be but um, you, you get the trick and you'll, you'll get used to it now don't you be afraid to just go all over and not worry too much if you're going on other uh, paint that you didn't want to be washed because at some point when you're doing a big part with a lot of wash all over it, everything's going to get stained or you'll have to repaint it anyway so um, just don't worry about it and just go ahead and do the full wash over her or, or the, the model you're working on and uh, then we'll go and do the details and work in the, the lines uh, with more worry. The, the ink is getting anywhere on your fingers anyway, uh, so might as well just go crazy and more worry about the um, uh, sponge, sponging the excess to get that nice um, shadowy effect. And now that the inking is done, we can have a look and see how the purple is still coming under the wash. Uh, we can see the, the the groove and the gritty of it, and this is where we what we want. We want it to look down and dirty. And now that she's uh, has her black wash, uh, I will be redoing a bit of the white and red and uh, washes on the teeth and such. Uh, just working in the details layer by layer. Um, <clears throat> but now that I'm handling a her a bit, I am noticing that I am removing a bit of the wash with my hands. So to prevent that, I will be uh, paint finishing painting and sealing the, um, the stone bust thing holding. So I'm finishing with some highlights, uh, finishing the web and brush, dry brushing the stone, gonna paint the back. And then I will seal it with uh, miniature sealing paint. So that will keep the, um, my hands rubbing off paint and such. And this will be protected while I handle it. Okay, now I have her glued on and um, uh, with the tongue installed, installed. 
so the bottom is sealed so I can handle her without damaging the paint. Now you can see the purple sticking out and now uh, it is time for me to highlight the, um, the veins and the purple and finishing uh, doing all the you know the dry brushes and um, the small details that has to pop out a bit more. Now that she's glued on, I uh, can have a better look of what I should do. Now I have a bit more has been done. The white and the teeths have been highlighted a bit more. Uh, all the veins, the purples <coughs> is done, so you can you know see the variation. Uh, I, the eyes are now fully white so I can apply a blue wash because originally uh, Gwen's eyes are blue. Now this is a fun but more precise step is you're gonna take your black wash and you will do the um, kind of the shading of the inside of all the muscles and, and there's this multiple layer at the same time uh, with the, a bit of a, a bit of black and then a bit of tapping remove the excess and I'll be working on that to make the, all the muscles and parts pop out uh, but this is a more you know precise but um, at the same time it's still um, forgiving as if I do a mistake I just tap it out and just put more wash and just work with it it gives it a more organic uh, feeling to it and it will just make uh, your own shadows and just make all the muscles and the parts you want to really stand out and, and make the whole difference on the model and this is really the point of using washes when you paint it does give it a greedy look but it also give it a more um, just pop out it, it just makes it stand out without having using real life shadows and such it's just, no matter where you look at it it will just be well defined and there you have it She's all done and finished. Of course, I could put in more details and, and just do more on her. But really, I wanted this project to be done and so I can move on but have a nice, lovely piece. And I think that's what I got from it. And I hope that you, uh, just a few tips and hopefully maybe help you. To be able to achieve something like that for all the models we do. As you can see on, on the photos, you can see the purple going through the black wash and just then highlight the other parts and just get a lovely result.